I'm not a doctor, as you possibly have found out. I'm not a doctor, but I'm a person with common sense. I'm not a doctor, but I have common sense. There are promising therapies. And that would be REMS. It's called Remdesivir. 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 I don't want to get anybody uh, overly excited, but I'm very excited by that. So you have Remdesivir, and you have uh, chloroquine, and some people would add to it hydroxy, hydroxychloroquine. That's a drug that the president has directed us to take a closer look at. We want to do that in the setting of a clinical trial, a large pragmatic clinical trial. And I say, try it, take it. I really think they should take it. In fact, I might do it anyway. I may take it. I've seen things that I sort of like. So what do I know? I'm not a doctor. I'm not acting as a doctor. I'm saying do what you want. Hydroxychloroquine and uh, the z -Pack, I think, is a combination probably is looking very, very good. Uh, I'm not totally sure what the, the president was referring to. If you really want to definitively know if something works, that you've got to do the kind of trial that you get the good information. Why should we be testing it in a test tube for a year and a half when we have thousands of people that are very sick? The vaccine does have to be tested for a long period of time because you can't give, you know, thousands, millions of people a vaccine and it turns out to be dangerous. It's tested in the sense that you know it doesn't kill you. What we don't know is when you put it in the context of another disease, whether it's safe. Fundamentally, I think it probably is going to be safe. But I like to prove things first. I'm not a doctor. I'm just saying we hear great results. I really think it's a great thing to try, just based on what I know. Again, I'm not a doctor. And zinc, they say, zinc. You should add zinc. So you add the zinc. Dr. Fauci said there is no magic drug for coronavirus right now, which you would agree. I disagree. Uh, maybe and maybe not. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. I feel good about it. That's all it is, just a feeling. I, you know, I'm a smart guy. I feel good about it. I like this stuff. I really get it. People are surprised that I understand it. Uh, when somebody is very sick, they go to a doctor, go to a hospital, they record it, they're very sick, and then uh, they live or they don't live. The people that are sick are going to a doctor or they're going someplace and they're going to say, make me better. Every one of these doctors said, how do you know so much about this? When you look at these hospitals, the amount that they order, you almost say, how could they possibly use so much, whether it's masks or the protective gear? Why aren't they able to use that mask a second, third, fourth time? If you take a, a solid flu vaccine, you don't think that would have an impact or much of an impact on corona? No. Probably not. There's a study out there that says people that have lupus haven't been catching this virus. No, maybe it's true, maybe it's not. Young people seem to be you can't say immune to it, but there's certainly the numbers are very small. We're ordering a lot of supplies. We're ordering a lot of different uh, elements of medical. I think they're going to start the process of uh, of giving the drug mouth, you know, through through mouth. We're going to continue. It's going to disappear one day. It's like a miracle. It will disappear. And from our shores, we, you know, it could get worse before it gets better. It could maybe go away. We'll see what happens. No 